Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is our sixth lecture on the firearms and its mechanics. In this lecture, the learning objective will be that we'll try to learn the estimation of distance of smooth board weapon from the victim various methods and techniques have been used. We we'll try to learn them. Then we'll also learn the exit wounds. Exit wounds of the rifled weapon and smooth board weapon. Then we'll learn the variations in the exit wound. That may be because of the tumble bullets, because of the deformed bullets, because of the fragmentation of the bullets. And also another characteristic phenomena shown by the rifled bullet, the showed exit wound. We learn that what showed exit wound is. Then we'll also learn the differences in anti-wound and exit wound of rifled weapon. In this lecture, we'll also try to learn that if a bullet is recovered from a specific scene of crime, and how can we determine the weapon? Because every weapon engraves a characteristics land and grooves marks on the bullet, which helps in its identification. So we'll try to learn how we can do it. Okay. Hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. And today we are starting with the sixth video lecture on the firearms. The learning objectives of this video lecture will be that we will learn to determine the distance of fire in the smooth board weapons. And the firearm exit wounds of rifled and smooth board weapon. Then the variation in the exit wounds and showed exit wound. This is a characteristic phenomena shown by the rifled weapon in a very peculiar manner. The variation in the exit wounds are either by made by the deformed bullets, tumbled bullets, fragmentation by the fragmentation of the bullets, or by second missile formation. So in this situation, the exit wound will be variable in its shape. Then we learn in this lecture the differences between the entry and the exit wound of rifled weapon. And sometimes the bullets are recovered from the scene of crime. And how we can identify the weapon with the bullet recovered from the crime scene. So we'll learn in this, in this lecture, this also. So about the determination of the distance of fire in the smooth board weapon, it is the characteristics which determine the distance of fire. In distant fire wounds where there is no burning, blackening, singeing, 
or clubbing of singeing of hairs in tattooing effect the distance is determined by various methods and these are either the test shots that with the repeated test shots when you gain the similar pattern of dispersion as found in the scene of crime then this helps in determining the range that means if the actual weapon and the same brand of ammunition is recovered series of test shots is performed to produce the similar pattern of injury as on the body and this thing should be kept in mind that different brands of ammunition produce different pattern at the same range this can also be from the dispersion of the shots as in distant shot the pellets start dispersing and the distance between two most distant shots on the body is measured and the distance in inches is roughly equal to distance in yards so two farthest pellets on the body the distance in them in inches is roughly equal to distance in yards this is a pictorial diagram you can see the pattern of dispersion at different ranges at, at few inches the charge is at the end block and up to 1 yard even it remains n block and at 3 yards they starts dispersing and this dispersion is measured two farthest pellets the rightmost diagram showing the holes the distant pellets are 10 inches apart so the distance between the victim and the weapon will be roughly 10 yards now about the exit wounds of firearms in the rifled weapon sometimes the bullet do not exit any main lodged in the body whereas a typical exit wound of rifled weapon look like a lacerated wound with everted margins and the exit wound gives a large and more ragged appearance than the anti wound normally the exit wound may be free from soiling components as found on the anti side that means burning blackening and tattooing at the exit exit side will not be there and the shape may also be variable slit like shell shape cross shaped shape irregular and gaping these are two exit holes and this is a typical entry wound shown circular lacerated wound with collar of every so this is the entry wound and you can see that on exit wound there is no collar of abrasion on the, the lacerated wound with everted margins then something about variation in the exit wound if the bullet is deformed during the passage within the body or sometimes outside the body it may be deformed and the exit wound produced will be irregular shape it 
may not be circular, oval, lacerated, but irregular shape because of the deformed bullet. Then the bullet may tumble. This means the turning end to end. That is, base is facing forward and the bullet try to exit from its base facing forward. And it again will form irregular shape. Then the bullet may be fragmented by the passage within the heart material like the bone. The jacket may be removed. As the bullets are jacketed, the jacket may be removed or the bullet itself may be fragmented. So there will be then multiple holes visible. Then the second missile may be formed. That means when the bullet strikes the bone, the bony fragment also gets energized. It starts traveling with the same speed of the bullet and they sometimes will be exiting with the bullet and making multiple exit wounds. So multiple exit wounds can be because of the second missile that is the pieces of bone or any other material. These are dip, uh, different uh, fragmented pieces, the gelet, the jacket and the broken pieces of the bullet. This is again a radiograph showing when the bullet is passing through the vertebra, the jacket is removed and the bullet lead case is moving ahead. And in the above you can see the metallic fragments that is the bullet has been broken into multiple fragments. And this is another picture showing that bullet is lodged under the skin. That is, the velocity has been reduced and it may not exit and only making a lacerated wound with the tip of the bullet but is remain lodged in the skin or not exited. This is an, another variation. Then sure exit wound. This phenomenon is shown when the victim is lying on the floor or standing firmly against the wall, that is the hard surface. And the bullet is, when it will try to exit out, it will cause showed exit wound because at the exit side, the body is in touch and supported by the hard surface of the floor or the wall. Bullet will strike the floor or the wall, will recoil back, again move forward, and repeated to and fro movements will shore the margin. The margin of the exit wound will be showed. So this showed exit wound is when the victim is lying on the floor or standing against the hard wall, then the bullet at the point of exit will be recoiled back and this to and fro movement will cause the margin to be showed. Hence, showed exit wound will be formed. And due to hard object underneath, the bullet will not only be D-shaped, but after striking with it, will also try to enter and exit again and again. Hence, the edge will be showed. This is how it appears, the showed exit wound. You can see the abraded margin. This is not because of the rubbing as the color of abrasion at the anti site, but this is showed exit wound. Now the appearance of shotgun exit wound, that is smooth board exit wound. Usually the pellets, if they enter into the body, they do not exit because they are not high velocity. And by passing through the body, they lose their velocity and rarely exit. But if exit, there 
can be irregular lacerated bone with everted margins and sometimes the pellets may be accumulated underneath the skin opposite the wound of entry at some time the larger pellets having larger mass and greater velocity may exit pass through the body and may exit and also the distance of fire is another factor if it is close range velocity will be higher and the pellets may exit but at distant firearm wounds by the smooth board weapon the pellet by reduction of its mass will not exit and will remain in the body you can see the radiograph showing the pellets which are lost within the body so the differences between the entry and the exit wound of the rifled weapon this is sometimes important to differentiate between the entry and the exit wound the entry wound of rifled weapon is usually smaller except in contact fire the projectile in exit wound lacerates the tissue and there will be margins will be everted in entry wound the margins will be inverted except close contact wounds and in at exit the margins will be everted at entry side the collar of abrasion will be there collar of abrasion is formed because of rotational and indent indenting rubbing in of the bullet when the bullet try to enters it indents and rotates and will form the collar of abrasion whereas at the exit side the collar of abrasion will not be there and sometimes when the person is facing against the hard wall or floor the showed exit wound it appears as a collar but that is not because of the rubbing collar of abrasion it is showed margin not the collar of abrasion then the grease or dirt color can be seen on the entry side whereas it is absent on exit wall at entry side in close range the burning blackening tattooing and singeing of hair will be seen on the entry side whereas at the exit these characters are absent the clothes at the entry site may be burned tattooed and dragged into the crack so these findings are absent on the exit wound the lead ring will be present on the entry site the lead ring is because of the rubbing of the lead bullet and the shaving of the bullet which soil the surface it will be absent in exit wound and if we differentiate between the carboxy hemoglobin at the entry side the tissues will be bright pink due to carboxy hemoglobin and concentration at the entry side will be higher than the exit side then if the bullet is passing through the flat wall a characteristic bewelling phenomena will be shown we will we'll be discussing this phenomena in the upcoming lectures but the entry site will be showing bewelling inward and the exit site will be showing bewelling outwards no sometimes we we recover the weapon and the bullet from the crime scene and we want to confirm that the this bullet was fired from the same weapon every rifled weapon has its characteristics the lens and grooves they mark an imprint on the bullet so the lens and grooves on the rifling they make an impression on the lead bullets and if we find the weapon and the bullet 
we test fire and compare the test fire bullet with the bullet which is recovered from the crime scene with the help of comparison microscope and if the weapon is the same same pattern and identical mark of the land and groove will be seen on the bullet and it will confirm that the bullet has been fired from the same weapon which is recovered from the crime scene and each weapon has its unique identity even though made from the same factory each weapon will show its own characteristics marks which will make its identity you can see the engraved marks by the lens on the bullets the two bullets are compared and it show identical marks so the summary about this lecture is that we have discussed the smooth board weapon distance firearm exit wounds are both the rifled and the smooth board weapons and variation the exit wound made by the deformed bullet tumbled bullets or fragmentation of the bullets or second emissiles then we discussed about the showed exit wounds and the differences of the nt and exit wound we discussed in this lecture and identification of the rifled weapon by the marks of the land and grooves on the bullet which confirms the identity of the weapon Thank you very much. Take care and Allah Hafiz.